For what I know, the creative industry has always frustrations. And one of them being that that sometimes it's not how talented you are, but who do you know? And that's not something very good because it, even if you're good, people will not hire, hire you if you don't know the right people. Now, I think what you, Marcin, are, are doing is very cool. What Matt, Artist Publishing, and Sketchaholic are doing is very cool because it, it gives artists a way to to present their, their work and that's great and uh, I also love that that you have featured the a spread to two page spread pages about caricaturama and I think that's very kind and, and very cool and uh, everything that promotes art is, is something that there is great I would say prepare, practice, and uh, something that I've suffered from in the past and I, and I think I still do at times, and I've seen a lot of people uh, who want to be an artist in any way, I've seen it in people trying to get into comics or, or trying to learn how to draw comic books or learn how to do caricatures and, uh, and uh, as I said I've suffered from that myself is impatience and uh, maybe re maybe I could say reckless recklessness and uh, not being order ordered about the work in order to be a good artist <clears throat> you don't have to be just talent you need to learn your craft and learning the craft means you have to put time into it and be patient about it and be laborious about it and try and try and try and to be to be to have a disposition to learn how to do things the right way sometimes an artist can be arrogant and say, well, this is the way I want to do it, and uh, it's not the right way. So, there's someone posting a video on YouTube or uploading a tutorial to a web page teaching how to do things, and a lot of people don't pay attention to them because they say, well, it's art, and, it, and some people think that just because it's art, you can do it the way you want it to. And the end result is not really good because there's a process, process and there are laws. You know, you're not just making things up, you're drawing things that actually exist. And even if you draw something that doesn't exist, like a monster or something, you're taking that from other things that do exist and that are applied to laws in the world, laws of physics, of anatomy and all that. So if you don't learn the basics, if you don't learn, even if you're going to be a caricature artist, if you don't learn anatomy, if you don't learn composition, if you don't learn all of that stuff, uh, basically you won't get anywhere. Unless maybe you, if you are an abstract artist. I would say the same things, learn the basics. Uh, the, basics, the basics are everything. Every artwork that looks very flashy and very stunning, and, you know, have all those important things. If you look, for example, someone who's very popular and is actually very good, and I'm, I'm a fan of his work, it's Jason Saylor, for just to name someone. I also like a lot of other artists, but a lot of people try to imitate his work and they can't and they can't why and uh, because first of all they shouldn't try to imitate his his artwork but they try to do something as good as, as he does and they don't achieve it why because they think that the guy just picks up uh, the pen the wacom pen and 
you know, starts rendering and rendering and rendering, and that, that that's not it. Uh, just looking at his, his art, artwork and his tutorials, I've watched some of his videos. The guy knows a lot about the basics. He knows about drawing, sketching, he knows about how to... Uh, of course, if you're talking about caricature likeness, it's very important. And uh, he knows about that a, a lot. He knows about uh, composition, about exaggeration, color. It's he's a great painter. He's a very good painter. And also, Paul Moyes is an impressive painter. And um, Kurt Jones is a great, great artist. He's he does stuff digitally that looks like oils, and it's great. But but they do all of that that stuff because they have practiced and practiced the, the basics so uh, that's what i would say to a common artist to practice and and start from zero and if you start growing as an artist and then you realize that you didn't grow so much go back to the basics basics there are rules in drawing and in painting that if you learn them you cannot go wrong the the, the piece will look good if you do things the right way the piece with the final product will actually always look good if you don't learn the basics maybe if you're talented something will come up right but maybe the next time it won't come up come up as good so that's my advice thank you very much for the interview and i hope you learn something from it and enjoy it. Take care.